Hey everybody, it's Paul. You know, I do a lot of fooling and kidding around on the channel, but today I've got something serious. Seriously, I've got something serious to talk about. And I'll tell you how my day started, and it wasn't fun at all. I was indisposed in my office, so to speak, which is code for doing my business on the commode when I was... I heard my daughter say, Daddy, can you come out here in that voice that any dad knows? Uh-oh, there's a problem. I know that voice, and sure enough, there was. I'm like, oh, man. So I get up as quick as I can, and I go out there, and right away, open the door, smell, smoke. It's like, oh, man, what is going on? And, and, and it wasn't just like a, like... It smelled like wood, you know, and I really thought the house was on fire because it smelled like burning pine, like two by fours in that burning. That was the first thing. And then it had kind of a plasticky smell going too. So I'm thinking, first I was, I mean, it's got to be Christmas. We still got some Christmas lights up. Got to be when those sets are going bad and the plastic's burning off and melting, you know. So I'm First thing I'm thinking of unplugging Christmas lights. It nothing seems obvious, you know. So it was getting crazy. I'm like, oh, this is really strong. This isn't just a little smell, you know. It's like, man, it's got to be up in the rafters or in the walls and the studs, you know. I got called the fire department out. I mean, this is, you know, no kidding. So then all of a sudden he says, oh, it's over in the microwave. I'm like. I look, the microwave's off, but you can see like a light in there. So I'm like, I look in there and there's flame in there. So then I kind of like settled down a little because I'm like, all right, well, the house isn't going to be lost or anything. But then you still got to deal with the mess. And this is what it's about. Hopefully you can see that. It's a shiny New Year's Eve, New Year's plate. And... All the decorations that look so nice must be like a metallic thing. And somebody put that, and it wasn't me, put that in the microwave with stuff on it. And it ended up looking like this. About half the size. Burned all the way around the edges. Just toasted it. And I'll tell you what. And um, so there's food, a cookie or something on here. You can see the holes that got burned through it. And uh, the plastic wrap had started uh, melting. So that was given a plate. I still don't know why this smelled so much like wood to me. It was just unbelievable. But such a little, and you can just smell it even waving it around. Such a little thing um, can make such a big smell, you know. But, um... You know, it's just something to be aware of. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to put metal in the microwave. But, uh, I guess, you know, you don't think about it in a paper plate being some metallic stuff. So, anyway, that's how my day started off. I'll tell you what, that gets old ticker pumping fast. When you, uh, think the old house is going to go up. Man, what a way to start a day. Anyway, thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me. And uh, if you've had any microwave horror stories or any kind of, um, you know, that kind of uh, uh, warning kind of stories that um, lessons learned that you've learned from a bad experience or whatever, uh, definitely feel free to chime in in the uh, comment section. Till next time, we'll see ya.